This week, I show you how to take your Porter Cable 9690LR that you can get at most big box stores and replace the cooling fan on it. If you want to find out how I do it, find out next on Peach Shop Makes. What's up everybody? Welcome to Peach Shop Makes. I'm your host Pete. And has this ever happened to you? You're routing along, maybe cutting a little dado in uh, the bottom of some plywood, and you're maybe using a cheaper than average uh, router bit, quarter inch, just like this one, straight bit, and uh, had it break off. Well, it's probably one of the most scariest things I think I've ever uh, had happen to me here in the shop. But anyways, it basically sent the broken piece straight down through the top of these cooling ports in my router and as the router was spinning obviously uh, destroyed all the uh, fan blades on the fan so um, I've had to do a little bit of router dissection and some surgery in order to uh, get this fixed but I'm gonna show you how I did all that right now alright so I have my router armature held tightly here in my vise and when the old fan, this is obviously a new one that I ordered, um, when the old fan got shredded, basically what was left behind was just this uh, center part. And as you can see, it's got this little metal bushing on the inside. That was a pain to get off. I could not get it off. I used these little cheap little pulley pullers and just tried hammering on it. So ultimately just turned to my Dremel and I had to cut cut it in half and then use the pullers again and it came right off. So in order to get this on, I'm going to use a socket. I have my little socket that I'm gonna place over this and we're just gonna tap it back in place. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna need some more tapping power. A little more. A little more. Well, you gotta get it right down to the bottom of this collar, so it's gotta be flush with that. So, this takes quite a bit of pounding to get this thing on there. I'm gonna make sure not to. Mess up your new blades. There it is. Man. Yeah, that thing was a pain to get on there. I basically had to end up putting this on a harder surface than wood. Because as you can see, I was just beating the hell out of my bench. But, uh, yeah, ultimately you just put it on uh, my shop floor and using this uh, little five pound sledge here was able to uh, finally get it on and these fins are pretty they're pretty rigid this thing is is pretty tough but um yeah just glad to have that back on and i went ahead also turned my commutator filed it all down and got some new brushes uh, as well. So there you go guys, just thought I'd share that with you. Couldn't really find any videos online um, describing how to do that. Uh, E-Replacement Parts has a good video series on the Porter Cable uh, 690 router on how to replace the armature, um, bearings, things like that, but there was nothing on the fan, so I just went ahead and uh, showed you how I did that. So, thanks for sticking around, checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and as always, I will catch you on the next one. That's not good.